Hi, this is Daddy Damo, and today I'll be teaching you guys how to use the custom controller block to control ships, drones, missiles, or whatever else you want in Space Engineers. Okay, so first off, we need to know how the custom turrets work, like how to build them and how to set them up. So, first thing you want to do is have something similar to this. It's You need a horizontal rotor that rotates in this direction, and a vertical rotor that rotates in the vertical direction. Bottom one is your azimuth rotor. So we'll just go ahead and label that as a myth. And the one that goes up and down is your elevation. And once you've got them connected to each other, um, you're going to need a turret controller. That can be placed on the base grid or the end of the turret, it doesn't really matter. And then secondly, you're going to need some kind of designator block, either a camera or some kind of weapon facing in whatever direction you want your turret to point at. Okay, so now to set the turret up. We have our horizontal rotor, vertical rotor, turret controller, designator block in this case, which is a camera, and a power source, which is all we need for a turret. Now I'm going to go through all these settings for, with you because there are quite a lot. Um, you can ignore custom data, content is just for the LCD, setup actions. What this will do is if you put a functional block, any one of these, in the first slot, it will toggle that like whatever your option you put in there, say toggle on off, when the turret is looking at something. And if you put it in the second box, it'll toggle it, or it'll trigger that block whenever it's not looking at something. Uh, options below that are assign azimuth rotor and assign elevation rotor. That's the azimuth and elevation rotors that we named before, so put them in now. Assign camera. If you're using a camera as a des designator, you want to select it out of this list. If you're using a weapon, just ignore the step for now. Azimuth Velocity Multiplier, this will be how fast your turret controller rotates the rotors because we're, we want to rotate as fast as we can, we'll put them up to max. Angle Deviation isn't very important, it's generally a good number here. Um, it just means when it's pointing within 5 degrees of its target it will shoot whatever weapons it's got selected. If you put a weapon on the turret assembly or anywhere on the grid, they'll be in this list here, in the available tools and weapons. If you select a weapon and go add to all a weapon, it'll come down here, and that just means when the target's looking within 5 degrees, it'll shoot that weapon. Enable AI, because we're going for an AI-controlled drone, make sure that's turned on. AI aiming radius, put that up to max. That just controls how far away it can target things. All these options down here, uh, I'll go through them real quick. Basically, all these top ones are objects that you can target, and these bottom three are allegiances you can target. So enemies, friends or neutrals. Enemies is obviously anyone who's in another faction who's not allied or in your faction. Friends is yourself and your faction mates and neutrals are allies or grid set to nobody. All the ones up here we got meteors, missiles, small ships, large ships, characters and stations so you can obviously select which ones you want your turret to target. And then target options you can select whether you want it to target everything, weapons, propulsion or power system selectively. So because we want to target myself I'll go target friendly characters. As you can see the turret is locked onto me now. And yeah that's pretty much all there is to it. Alright so great we got ourselves a turret but it's a turret isn't it? It's not a drone. That's not what we're looking for. So what we do to make it into a drone is we well, first we cut it off from the base station and we select with a gyro on the bottom of the rotor. What that will do is that will act as the new pivot point for this entire assembly if I can stop it moving. There we go and now of course because I've cut it off we need a battery. I'll take a battery on and it's not really working now. Is it? It's sort of jittering around. What the turret controllers tend to do is they unassign the rotors when you start messing with them. So make sure you set it back and there we go. It's now following me. Now it is a bit wobbly. It's a bit sloppy in its movement. So what we do is we get a control panel real quick. We can slap one on. Set the gyroscope to override without touching any of these numbers. And what that'll do is that'll hold its position, hold its rotation a lot better. And now as you can see it's pretty well locked onto me. Um, one thing you'll notice though is if you don't have this control panel here uh, and you want to try and work on the grid, say anywhere but the front of it, you can't actually get to the back of it without it turning towards you. So if we slap another control panel down, just turn it off. What I like to do is you either slap a control panel or a button right on the front so that when it's staring at you, you can just slap the button. And say so I want to work on the back of it, bang, there we go. It's 
no hassle. Now this is all well and good. We got the turret. That's fine on us. We got this massive assembly hanging off the side that, as you'll notice, spins around quite a bit. So we can't actually say if we were to put an object like we can't put anything here or here or anything like that because the gyroscope is just going to swing into the way and it won't be able to rotate itself. So what I like to do is I like to do this. Basically two rotors with two gyros and that way these are a lot easier to hide inside of a ship because they're just rotating in place they're not swinging like two blocks away like that one is. Um, the only problem with this one as you can see it's a lot more sluggish um, because each gyro, because there's two gyros on this and they're rotating in often different directions one gyro has to try and fight to overpower the other gyro and so it goes a bit slower so it's sort of like a bit of compromise like if you don't mind having or clearing out the entire area inside your ship to house this this is probably a better idea it's easier to build it's simpler you can just build it straight out of the gyro but this one you have to do some finagling like let me explain the way I usually do this is I have this little part here it is gyro rotor control panel but then you need to attach this and you can't these rotors have to be backwards so you can't build them out of the grid so I have this little ion tug thing that I've got that just comes over laces onto the thing and then if we were to put a rotor part somewhere let's see let's get you out of the way if we were to put a rotor part down we can then control this, move the gyro, move the rotor and gyro assembly into position. That looks about right. And then come to the control panel, go to the rotor, hit attach, and now it's on. And then you're free to disconnect this. Can I? No, oh, there you go. Get it out of the way. And now it's attached. And then you do that with the second rotor, set them up in the control panel, and then you're done. And once you've done all that, you should have something like this. The grid will use the rotors and gyros to look at you, but it can't really do much else other than that. So I've got this quick little test grid I've just built over here, just to show you guys what turret controllers can do. I've got the auto cannons on the front, and they're hooked up to one of the turret controllers, so that when the grid is pointing at me, it actually shoots, it actually does something. But also, if we go into the settings here, you'll notice in the setup actions bar, remember when I said before that the, this left button, when it looks at something, it'll trigger what's in whatever's in here. I've got the forward thrust, the main thrust of this grid in here. It'll turn that on and it's set to override at the moment. So if we go into forward thrust, it's at max thrust override. So when it looks at me, it'll turn all these thrusters on and try to pursue me. So if we do that now, this might be a little bit loud, but as you can see, it's trying to follow me. We've got thrusters on the side deck, there's inertia dampers and yeah it lets you follow me around try to shoot me and then in the second bar on the right i've got it set up so that when it stops seeing me it'll turn off so that when either i'm dead or i've left the area it'll come to a stop and wait for the next target all right so that's the main gist on how these simple combat drones work now i'm going to show you some more advanced settings to help you with some more complex builds as you may have noticed, I've got four rotors and four gyros on here, and but we can only control two rotors with one turret controller. So what I've done is I've got two turret controllers with the exact same settings. One of them is controlling these two gyros, or these two rotors, and the other two, and the other one is controlling these two rotors. So if they have the exact same settings and they're hooked up to the right rotors, they will work in parallel to use more gyros to bring the entire ship to bear on the target. This is especially useful if you're trying to build heavier grids like if you're actually trying to build a large combat ship that doesn't have no armor here you might want a lot more gyros to have it turn quicker uh, another tip is you can use these turret controllers as long range sensors if you have a simple turret like the one on this rocket truck here you can slap a camera on it and as I said before when it points at a target it'll trigger that so you can again have that trigger in this case a timer which sets off the missile and then the turret controller on that missile turns on and that sends it towards the target. Alright so I think that's about everything I know on how to build drones using turret controllers. 
If you guys need anything clarified or something like that, just drop a comment down below and I'll try to reply to any questions you guys ask. And I hope you guys will be able to use this tutorial to make some amazing creations of your own. And if you're still around at the end of the video, thank you for being here. The channel's exploded over the last two months and I'm so glad to have this community here. Um, if anyone hasn't subscribed, if you could, that would be great. I try to... I don't generally do tutorials, but... You guys requested it quite a lot, so I figured I might as well. I mainly do short skits on just stuff I like mucking around on and Space Engineers. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, have a good day. I'll see you around.